in this video i'm going to show you how you can turn the shape of anything into an island in ps touch okay so what you want to do is quite simple just import the image first of all let's import the align and click on add okay so now we're going to import our, our icon of art so click on import photo layer photo library so I import the art and click on add so basically this will be our reference I think it looks okay right here yeah so click on done right so now we can turn it off click on this layer so we want to kind of like remove the the island at first so we're going to use okay let's use our lasso selection tool because i think it's going to be quicker so i'm just going to draw roughly we're going to feather the edge so let us feather the edge so click right here on this icon then click on feather so you want to increase the feather a bit i mean a lot yeah does this look okay i think it's fine so click on done okay so now what you want to do you want to click right here click on this icon layer from selection done so as you can see we have this island in its own separate layer good so we can turn this one off let us deselect it so turn this one back on now we are going to use the clone stamp tool to remove the island from here because we already have it here so here is the clone the chaotis pick up your brush you can increase the size so this is the source so make sure the source is showing like this and maybe you want to pick a source right here and brush in like so i think i'll make the brush size a bit bigger so pick a source brush in click on source tap and brush in okay so take a look at that i think this looks really cool all right moving on to the tutorial so let us turn this layer back on okay so we're going to rotate this one so we can walk on it freely think right here like so so done so take a look at the art shape as you can see you can reduce the opacity and click on this one at the bottom i think i'm going to reduce the opacity a bit further right okay so click on this layer again now we're going to duplicate it so we have two of them so click right here transform you want to flip it think right like so so I don't want to do too much work on this I think right about here will be fine done so we can turn off this layer I think we are good to go so now I want to click on our eraser tool here it is I want to increase the size I think you leave the hardness at 0% and just tap like so okay so you can come over here to warp maybe you want to or you want to take this side right here 
okay this is not bad done all right so now what you want to do you want to click right here click here mesh down so the two they look pretty much mirror like so let us use our clone stamp tool to kind of oops so click on source click right here and brush to kind of make things look different so just add some kind of variation to it click on source click right here so as you can see they both look a bit different now so you can still go further and kind of do one or two clicking to make sure things doesn't feel copied okay i think this is pretty much it as you can see how easy that is thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye